Okay. Hola, everyone. Hello from Leon, Nicaragua. In my last video, um, I showed you my beautiful colonial house. And um, I missed, well, on purpose, I didn't want to show you yet my room. So here I am. Here's my, we're going to go into my beautiful room. So first, as you can see, this is the colonial house and these beautiful doors. You can see it's just a work of art. The wood doors and they have these beautiful like iron grommets here. I love it. And every time I walk in, I feel like I'm this um, heroine from a Isabelle Allende novel from the 19th century. And I'm, I'm escaping to go see my clandestine lover. So come on in, welcome. Bienvenidos a mi cuarto. It's very intimate here. I don't know how people on YouTube like take videos, make videos of their uh, their channel on the in their bedroom. It's beyond me. But anyway, this is but this is I'm going to show you my room today. So here's my um, it's my temporary room anyway. This is where I've been staying and my master bedroom they gave me pretty big. And I get my own bed, my bathroom. Um, here's where I do my writing, my little computer. Thank you, Belinda. My sister she gave me that computer, and um, I have. Um, here are all my essential oils that I have, and it's just a big collection. I always carry them with me. I have patchouli, clary sage, sandalwood, everything. And then just to have a little bit of glamour, because when you're traveling, you, you leave so many of your belongings at home, but just to have a little bit of bling, I always carry this box, this Prada box that, that I had my sunglasses in. Um, and I had just these, you know, just very costumey jewelry um, that, you know, I don't always wear. I usually just stick to one piece of earring like these. So um, all you need is one really good pair of earrings. Anyway, so that's, that's my um, part of the, that room. And then coming over here, you have these beautiful doors. Again, they're like these heavy doors. Check this out. And I love this kind of like light celeste. Um, paint. Um, it looks like it's probably painted again in like the 50s because this is a 50s color. Um, and then I have my altar, my kind of pseudo altar where I chant, I meditate, I summon uh, all the good powers of the universe to protect me and you know think about all the great wonderful things in my life and that's why I want, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video. So I wanted to share with you this this closet. Look at this beautiful closet. It's like maybe a piece of armor furniture, maybe about a hundred years old. And then um, I wanted to show you what's in my closet. And if you're traveling to Nicaragua, what you should travel, what you should leave at home, what you should bring. Everybody has their own style, but. Um, I wanted to just share a few tips because it's so hot in Nicaragua. Um, you want to always wear like cotton, of course. I have these uh, 12 pajamas my sister Yasmin bought me uh, a couple of years ago and I still have them and it's just beautiful. If you don't know what toile is, it's like this 18th century um, uh, like farm people and you also have the aristocracy and it's just it's beautiful i love it so it's just a little bit um of something fun and elegant that you can always keep with you and then um you always want to anytime you travel um especially to nicaragua they're very big on white shirts and everything must be ironed to a t so um this, I, I have an iron. I'm a bit lazy about ironing. Um, but, you know, it's very Carolina Herrera. She always wears white shirts. You always want to have a white shirt in case you, you know, one day you meet, uh, you have to go to a dinner and you meet, uh, you know, some fam someone famous, the Pellas family. I don't know. So, um, and then you always want to have a one black skirt. As you see, I'm short on hangers. But here's like a very beautiful black skirt. You always want to keep that with you. Take that with you, and then um, and then I always bring something lacy. 
lace is very versatile. I have this in navy blue. I don't know if you can see the color, but navy is always a good choice. Speaking of colors, when you travel, you want to just keep everything to like a few different colors. Um, I pick yellows and reds. I, I, I know I'm wearing black today, but really I think you don't have to wear black. I think red, red is the new black and maybe, you know, it does get cold uh, in Nicaragua, especially in October. Uh, it does get a little chilly, and especially if you're like me, you go to Casa del Café and after, it's freezing. It's like 30 degrees after four hours, you're freezing. So you want to bring a little sweater. And this is gold. It's it's a good compliment. I wear it usually with this dress. My sister, uh, one of my sisters gave this to me. Thank you, honey. Um, she's been very kind. She's given me actually a lot of these clothes. Hand-me-downs were just a hand-me-down family. But um, I wear this so a uh, beautiful dress with this gold sweater and by the way this dress has brought me a lot of luck I met like three guys with this dress but no one um, no one too fascinating so I just I let it go I really I can't be bothered I really rather just stay home and, and read a book and then of course you can't be without the classic red dress so anywhere you go in life you got to have a red dress um, it's no more about the black dress. The red dress is where it's at. And then this is very flattering because it has the classic peplum style, makes your curves look ever so voluptuous. So, um, and then of course, a white dress is always in fashion. This is another dress my sister gave me. Thank you, Doña Yasmin. And, and then over here, um, Nicaraguan women, they don't really wear a lot of dresses in spite of the fact that they've been talking about it. And then, so you want to wear pants. They, so bring a good pair of jeans that are really, that fit well. Um, cool clothes. I always bring a scarf. They're very versatile. You won't see that in Nicaragua. But, and then a really cute, like, hand over shoulder purse. And you really don't need a lot of shoes. You just need one pair of high heels a pair of loafers and a flip-flops and then always bring like a beautiful like pashmina shawl like I got this in Santiago Chile and this is very versatile you can use it for your laptop